Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Tuesday, January 31st. And it's already the last day of January for 2023. Seems like it went by fast. Seems like it's still the new year just started. Maybe that's just me. Now... We go into February, and so far, when I started Good Morning Wrestling Fans back on January 2nd, luckily, so far, I have not missed a day, done it every day, seven days a week. Right here on the 360 Wrestling Podcast feed, thank you very much for listening. I just want to apologize, though. That I did miss a podcast last night. I did not do 360 Wrestling Fanatic. And normally, I don't do the do show recaps here on GMWF. But I'm going to do a quick raw recap this morning since I didn't do a raw recap on Wrestling Fanatic last night because there was no 360 Wrestling Fanatic but I think I might do that if there ever is a time where I don't do an episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic uh, recapping the show I just might do like a quick mini recap the next morning on here so I'm going I'm going to go out of order um, so to start off with the main event, we have the winner of the 2023 Royal Rumble, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, taking on Finn Balor. Though they weren't members at the same time, both former members of the Bullet Club going at it in the Raw main event. And... To be honest, I thought it was a pretty good match with Cody Rhodes getting the win here over Finn Balor, of course, with the Judgment Day in his corner. And also on Raw last night from Tulsa, Oklahoma, forgot to mention that we have Elimination Chamber matches qualifying matches I should say no we we don't have actual Elimination Chamber matches I meant to say qualifying matches for the Elimination Chamber taking place which we see Seth Rollins defeat Chad Gable Johnny Gargano defeat Baron Corbin. Branson Reed defeat Dolph Ziggler. And we see The Miz come out for Miz TV. Come out and cut a promo complaining about how fans in the, who saw him in the airport were chanting first man out since he was the first Superstar eliminated in the men's Royal Rumble match on Saturday night. And he was upset about not being in one of the Elimination Chamber qualifying matches. And then we see Adam Pierce make his way out onto the stage. And he announces that there is somebody else that wants a shot. And it is the returning Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs we have not seen since Wrestlemania last year when he was involved in a a, a tag team match. Was it first titles? I'm not sure, but he was in a tag team match at the time. He was teaming with Shinsuke Nakamura and he tore his quad. So almost close to being a year out. But now Rick Boogs is back in action. Good news for him. 
Hopefully he has a good return. But now part of Monday Night Raw. So hopefully things work out for him. And we also see him in the back with the Street Profits. And we find out Montez Ford will be facing Elias in a qualifying match next week on Raw. And that got me to thinking that Rick Boogs and Elias, they're back there. I wonder if we could see a feud with them. That's not too far-fetched because they both play guitar. They, Elias could be jealous or something of Rick Boogs coming in. If he comes in and plays the guitar and gets over with the fans, they like him better. He could get upset about that and could turn heel in this feud or who knows maybe they could pair them together and then they could have some kind of a musical duo tag team but if that will happen that remains to be seen also we have one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions EO Sky as she defeats Candice LeRae and that was Monday Night Raw from last night the main event like I talked about, Cody Rhodes defeating Finn Balor. So, Cody did, of course, did mention Roman, Roman Reigns in his promo and the WrestleMania main event. Speaking of the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Of course, they did recap what happened involving the bloodline and Sami Zayn at the Royal Rumble. But Roman Reigns, the rest of the bloodline were not on the Raw. And neither were Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, which... I talked about yesterday, I thought they should be off, and we did see a commercial for SmackDown about what will happen next for the Bloodline. I mentioned yesterday, Jay Uso tweeted over the weekend, I'm out. So, there might be some kind of confrontation between Jay Uso and the rest of the bloodline. But we'll have to wait and see to this Friday night on SmackDown. And just to talk about, again, what I mentioned on 360 Wrestling Fanatic Saturday after the Royal Rumble when I recapped it. Uh, now I had that idea, but I'm kind of starting to rethink it now. I guess after the pay-per-view, I just got excited about it. And I thought of the idea of having that six-man tag in the Elimination Chamber where the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sokoa would take on the team of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Jay Uso actually siding with them. But later than when I thought about it, I kind of started realizing that that might not work. Uh, One nation paper is not that far away. So, I'm not saying it's impossible, 
but they would really have to push things along a bit to get there in time. And especially, well, there has been that little tease. Uh, Jey Uso tweeting that he's out, kind of making it sound like he's leaving the bloodline. Don't know that for sure. Also, after Jay Uso tweeted that Solo Sokoa went on his Twitter and tweeted a picture of himself, Jimmy, Roman, and Paul Heyman exiting from the ring at the Royal Rumble, and he just put loyalty. So that was kind of a response to Jay Uso's tweet. Didn't really explain much, but that was kind of a response. But it should be addressed more this Friday night on SmackDown on Fox. So that's all for this episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you for tuning in today right here on Spreaker, everyone. Or wherever you listen to it at. And hope everyone has a great Tuesday. Hope to be back soon with another episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic, though. But I will be back tomorrow morning. Until then, keep watching pro wrestling.